Hi there, Sam Medina again from jaketheevilhero.com and darkville.com. Today we're going to be doing another penciling video using a Stettler Mars Lumograph uh, 6H, uh, same kind of pencil 2H, and a Dixon Ticonderoga. We may even break out the Murado Black Warrior. Now you can support these videos by checking out our latest book which is Katarina the Dragon Slayer and the Foe Breaker's Curse. It's an epic fantasy with a sci-fi twist based on the webcomic Darkfell, The Fetters of Wizardry. It's actually the first book in the in a series which will be called The Fetters of Wizardry. You can get it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, Kindle, Nook, all of the, the above. Now, let's get to it. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be constructing a figure from a somewhat challenging angle. And it's kind of lightly sketched in, but we might have to go with a darker pencil here. Uh, yep. Go with a mechanical pencil. Now usually when I start a figure, usually start at the head, as the old saying goes, control the head, you control the situation. Where the head goes, the body follows. So, you give him an action line, indicate where the spine is. And let's kind of zoom in on that a little bit. So it's kind of simple so far. And then kind of indicate where the shoulders are going to go. And when you're laying out a figure, you want to stay, you want to keep things simple. Uh, one of the mistakes we make a lot of times as artists is we try to put in too much detail. And then if you make a mistake, it's almost like you don't want to go back and erase because it looked, you know, the detail you put in looked good or whatever you got attached to it. Uh, for limbs, I go with cylinders. You can do rectangles, but I, I prefer cylinders since limbs are more rounded anyway. Uh, Usually for ribcage I go with an oval, but today I'm going with a square for this particular pose, and you'll see why in a little bit. And so we have we have our basic foundation shapes, right? And we'll give ourselves kind of a little square shape here to indicate the palm of the hand, and kind of a stump for a thumb. And we'll fill in the other fingers later. And this figure here is going to be drawing his sword. So, you kind of have those lines indicated. Here's the scabbard. Just basically, just just a few lines to indicate where that is. We're going to give ourselves kind of a square here for this uh, finger. That's uh, rather a fist. And I'll try to indicate where the thumb is. Kind of like that. So like that and a bit of a cylinder for that forearm another cylinder for the upper arm which is probably going to overlap that a little bit and there we have our, our blocked in figure now we can start adding uh, some details I actually like to indicate in a side view like this of a, of a face I'll kind of give the profile if I'm familiar with the, the character in this case I know this character well. It's Gladden Darkfell. And let's sharpen one of these Dixon Ticonderogas. Alright, got a good point going. Start sketching in some of the detail, facial details. Still not too much detail at this point. When you have flowing masses of hair, I do like to, to use a kind of a quick stroke. 
makes it easier to establish where the hair is going in terms of direction. And we'll give ourselves a little triangle here for the ear. And we're pretty much well on our way as far as the establishment of his face. So we're going to zoom in on that a little bit. So we have a recognizable face. We start uh, sketching in some of these hair details. like that. Well, strands of hair. Nothing too fancy so far. And we'll indicate a little hair over here too. Just a few lines. Sometimes I like to put in a bunch of lines and then later I'll pick which lines I like best. And now we're going to give a little detail to the shoulder. Now remember he's wearing a shirt so we're going to kind of sketch in that sleeve. You know where the elbow is going so we give ourselves some guidelines there. Indicate some muscles. And we're basically using all these little cylinder shapes that we gave ourselves earlier to create the basic contours of this figure. Now we're going to go over here. We saw some guidelines for what we're going to do. as far as the war paint that he always wears. And now we have to remember that he has this kind of cloak. Which can be a lot of fun if you think of a cloak as, at least I do, I think of it as a curtain. And you can learn a lot about drawing cloaks and capes and clothing just from looking at curtains and so now we're finally taking some shape here uh, put in this other uh, sleeve here so some contour lines indicate the shape of this other arm which is not really going to have a lot of detail because of its positioning and our knuckles are going to be over here I'm going to start indicating where those fingers are going to be out for fingers I tend to favor rectangular shapes and then I kind of round them off as I go along All right, we're going to come back in a little bit and show you the more completed pro product. So see you in a moment.